So we have our FreeNAS all set up. Put in a cheap GeForce 8400 GS graphics card in there just so we can have some video out. But we have our three hard drives up top um, in our drive cage with that uh, 90 millimeter fan and our one extra drive down there. So you're gonna be able to run a RAID Z2 configuration with around 11 terabytes worth of storage or a RAID Z1 with around 17 terabytes. So I'm probably gonna do RAID Z2 just for that extra redundancy. Um, but yeah, it's looking really, really good. Now we're just gonna set it up downstairs, plug it into the ethernet and then set everything up in FreeNAS, set up the, the pool and the data set and then see what kind of download speeds we get to the NAS. So lucky for me, our basement's unfinished. So I ran an ethernet cable uh, Cat6 from um, our router upstairs down to the basement. So now I have, you know, 10 foot ethernet cable down here that we're gonna run for the NAS. So the NAS is gonna be downstairs out of the way of everything. Uh, nobody's gonna hear the noise. Nobody's gonna have to worry about that. Um, so I'll get it installed down here, set everything up, and then we'll go through the actual configuration and everything in FreeNAS. And we are booting from downstairs. We have our PC set up, raised off the ground, um, and we're just booting here. Uh, so once we're all booted up, I'll show you guys that we're connected to the internet. And then once you do that, actually go upstairs, connect to the web interface, and start setting this guy up. And there we go. We are all set up, connected to our static IP. Um, so yeah, I'll run upstairs and start setting this thing up. So here we go, we can see all of the computer stats here. Temp's looking good. Um, memory utilization, pretty low. Still having the same issue with bandwidth though, um, showing continuously looping. So we're going into pools, we're gonna add a pool, create a pool, and then you can see our four drives. We're gonna name the drive pool data. Gonna select all of our drives, select RAID Z2 as 11 point, as around 11 terabytes. If we go to RAID Z1, it's around six, 16 terabytes. But we're gonna select RAID Z2, create the pool. Now our pool is created. Um, you can see our 10.2 terabytes. We're going to go and add a data set. So now when we added the data set, we are just gonna name it data set one. We are then um, just gonna set it up for Windows as we are going to share via Windows um, when we map our network drive, Let's save that. Now you can see we have our data set one created at our 10.2 terabytes. And next step is to edit permissions on that. So we're gonna change the permissions. I already set up a user under my own name. So we're gonna change the user to Josh so that when we map the network drive, we log in using that username and password. And then we are going to go into sharing and we're gonna create a window share. So now we're gonna you know, navigate to that data set one folder and save that. But I'm actually gonna go back in and re-edit that and change the name from data set one to NAS for when we map our network drive. So we're gonna change that, save it. And then we are going to go ahead and map the network drive. So we're gonna open File Explorer, map a network drive, type in the IP address. along with the dataset folder, which is NAS. We're gonna save that, pick whatever drive letter you want. And we're going to then enter the password for our username, Josh, which is now what that shared drive is under. 
click yes and there you go we can see where we're connected and we have our network drive mapped so next step is just to go ahead and actually look make sure we see our 10.2 terabytes which we do there's some of the other options permissions under that network drive within windows and next up is just to copy a folder over So we're just going to find something that's decent size to copy over to the network drive. Maybe looking at videos just so we get enough, enough file size there. Copy it over. And there we go. We're copying over to the NAS. So I am sitting in the other room from my router pretty far away, divided pretty far. Um, so the, the network isn't that great. I think I'm only on the 2.3 gigahertz channel versus 5 gigahertz, but not actually connected to the router itself with Ethernet. So we're sitting at around four megabytes a second. Um, hopefully we can see some jumps there, but I'll just let this download um, and see how it goes. So there we go, guys. Still sitting at similar speeds, but looking really, really good. Um, this was actually a really fun video getting to put together this NAS, um, get a little bit familiarized with free NAS. Um, and I think it'll really help out around the house being able to download to that wirelessly rather than, you know, using some external hard drives and stuff like that. But if you guys liked the video, please give it a thumbs up below. Any questions, any comments, please leave those below as well. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. We got a lot of interesting videos coming up, especially the next one where we're going to take a small form factor PC and retrofit it into an original Xbox. It's going to be really, really cool. Um, so definitely stay tuned for that one. So I will see you in the next one.